North. I'm Allison. I'm Cecile. I'm Cecilis. And this is Teens Cooks, French edition, season two. Vincent de la Chapelle was a French chef from the 18th century who served the royal court in high. He wrote The Modern Cook, a cooking book that influenced the aristocratic French way of cooking. He was the first chef to publish a cooking book with lavish engravings of the dishes he cooked. In 1742, he invented an omelet souffle. The dessert version contained lemon peel, the savory version, veal kidney. The recipe was modified by Antoine Beauvillier. The, the chef of the Grand Tavern in London in 1783. It's six recipes of souffle on his menu and is considered as the inventor of the dish. But the one who really developed and publicized the recipe was a 19th century chef called Antoine Marie Carême. He served a famous chef called Talleyrand and became an incredible pastérie chef. Antoine Carême's invention of the classic souffle in the early 1820s was made possible by new ovens, which were heated by air drafts instead of coal. This new technology provided the more even cooking temperature needed for a souffle to rise properly and stay risen. Initially, Carême made his souffles in stiff pastry ca casings that were not eaten. Their straight sides were an inspiration for our current souffle dishes. He went on to create hundreds of other souffles, in including the souffle Rothschild, which was originally contained real gold and was aptly named by its creator in honor of his employer, at the time the richest man in France. That's a lot of money. It consisted of a pastry cream base lightened with a beaten egg white and flavored with chopped crystallized fruits macerated in Danzier Goldwasser, a liquor containing suspended gold crystals. That's expansive. <laughs> Gold crystals, dang. Uh, more modern recipes often substitute Kirsch or Cognac. Soufflés are typically prepared from two basic components, a flavored cream pastérière for, for dessert, soufflés, or a cream sauce, uh, bechamel, uh, or a puree for savory souffle to use as the base, egg whites beaten to a soft peak. The base provides the flavor and the egg whites provides lift or puffiness to the food, to the dish. Foods commonly used to flavor the base include herbs, cheese, and vegetables for savory souffles, and jam fruits, berries, chocolate, banana, or citrus for dessert souffles. Souffles are generally baked in individual ramekins of a few ounces or a souffle dish of a few liters. They, these are typically glazed, flat-bottomed, round porcelain containers with unglazed bottoms, vertically, vertical or nearly vertical sides. The ramekin, or other baking vessel, may be coated with a thin film of butter to prevent the souffle from sticking. Hi, I'm Cecile. Nice to see you again for this uh, new episode of Teens Cook. Season 2, episode 2. And today we will uh, prepare a cheese souffle. Okay, so for the cheese souffle, Alison, we will need some flour, some eggs, some butter, salt and pepper, some milk, and also some cheese. We choose some Comté cheese, so it's a kind of strong cheese. And we will begin. So, we need to measure the butter. Go ahead, we need five tablespoons of butter. So we are, yeah, one, two, five. But then you have to remove the paper. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Can I trip it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we cut it in small pieces, perhaps. Oh, yeah. So it's easier to melt it down, right? Yeah, exactly. So we can trip it. Oh, yeah. So we need to cut.
Okay, super. So we'll melt the butter. During that time, you will measure the flour. Okay, how much flour do we need? So, half cup of flour. Should we use it? Well, you have to be careful. Your fingers, so the small. That one is good. So you can remove. Should I push cheese in there? Yeah, you can remove them. Um, Yeah. 
Okay, so first you need to separate the white from the yolk. So you put the yolk in this bowl okay. and the white in this big bowl. So I move this bowl? Yes. Yeah. Voilà. So I show you from just one. You open it like this. Because you don't want to have white in the okay? You turn. Maybe here. On the edge of the yes. More? Yes! Time. Okay, wait. Just put it in here. Yeah, sure. Will we be using the egg yolks uh, in time? What? We'll be using the. Uh, yes. Yolks. Yes. We are going to use the, the yolk for this mixture, and after that, beat the white and mix everything all together. Okay, perfect. And the last one? Oops. She will be the queen. Oh. You know, up, 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 up. So good. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Up this way. And this one away. Yeah. And I finish it like this. Now you can wash your hand because you have the <laughs> You have the egg yolks there and the bechamel right there, so you want to add the egg, the yolks, yes, inside. Go ahead. And you see this nice color? Yeah. You can mix. You can more. They are pretty good because everything is still here. Oops. Have you seen that? So now, what you want to do is you take the white and you Put slowly add half of the white. Half. Take the spoon and mix half of the white. That much? Yes. Okay.
That's why the cheese souffle is so fluffy because you add a lot of white eggs. Will we add the whole thing? Yes, yes. In a minute. And you cannot guess how it's delicious. Ah, the oven is ready. And uh, we preheat the oven at uh, 350 degrees. Yes, Caroline, sure. And uh, we are going to, to cook the souffle during 10 to um, 15 minutes. What's the best to look at this? And you can finish with this one. the white But uh, I never eat a cheese souffle in the restaurant in the US. No. Is it more like a dinner? Mm. It's, yeah, it's for dinner. And uh, usually we today we are going to do small cheese souffle because it's nicer. But usually you do a big one and you can serve this with a, a salad. So it's, it could be a main dish. With this, this side is just for appetizer. Okay, you're almost done. There's some. A few more. Yeah. Three chunks. Yes, but not too much. You don't want to mix too much, but you want to mix it a little bit too. So it's complicated. Okay. Yeah. So you're just gonna pour it into the yeah. dish. Yes. 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 Could you finish? Yeah. There's some small chunk. is you have to butter the, mm. the dish but there's a way to do it so take a piece of butter so a knife you can use your fingers or a paper towel it's up to you and you grease everywhere first and when it's done you have to do this, like some layers, in order to help the souffle, the souffle to rise. Okay. Yeah, super. And really like this. Up to the up, to the edge of the nose, everywhere with your fingers. You have to use your fingers. There's no way to do it. And at the end, you will add a little bit of uh, flour. flour. Yeah. A little bit of flour. Which one? Do we spread it around? Yeah. What is the last step? To put it in the oven. Yes, yes. So do we just do a half? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Or maybe you can use a... Oops.
delicious. As you see how uh, oh, beautiful it is. So, what do you think, Alison? Are you proud of you? Yes, it's good. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, huh? Sounds good. that way. Now it's time to try. Donc, what did you say in French when you are going to eat something? Bon appétit! You have to taste. And which one would you like? I'll try one. Thank you. Yeah. And it's a bit careful. Huh? It's a very warm. Super, Thank super warm. It's. You have a spoon? So. I'm Francoise. I'm Alison. I'm Cecile. Thank you for looking at this show. It was a cheese souffle show. Come back next time for a mystery item. Yes, you will see for the next episode. Next year.